What up, YouTube? Doug here, TWT Bulls. All right, guys, we have some crazy puppies to show you. I'm here with uh, Legend and Bunny now. Bunny shows just how mini and compact we like our Frenchies, and all our females have the bloodlines to produce this. But, uh, all right, Bunny, your pups will be for next week. Let's go show the puppies we have now. I can't wait to show you guys. All right, guys, here we are back with the Diego and Paloma AKC registered French Bulldog puppies. Real short, compact, mini Frenchies. So we know they're all lilac, which is two copies of blue and two copies of cocoa. Um, I think I have two lilac fawn merles, and I think I have some two or three lilac fawns, like a real light shade. And then I think I have two or three solid lilacs. But they're so young, it's really hard to tell. Um, you can kind of see the kind of fawnish head coming in and the light color on some of them. Some are a little darker. Some are starting to get the merling spots that we didn't notice before. But man, they're just fire, fire little French Bulldogs. I mean, the quality is just the consistency, the quality. I love it. So uh, you can see we've got the heat going on. The I uh, love my pups whelping system. The heat is electronic and going on under the rail and uh, they all cuddle up there under the heat that's what they do but uh man they're just gorgeous pups i couldn't be more happy this is really like bunny paloma like all our females are that kind of next level short compact thick size so i knew that with diego with his thick bone and his really diego's got a crazy compact muscular body so just compact big headed quality frenchies you know looking awesome but you can see my dad's working on the Frenchies here, helps helping stimulate them to use the bathroom. And man, look at the headpiece. Is that a boy or a girl, Dad? Uh, good question. Six boys, two girls. This so. is a. That's a little girl. That's a girl. Yeah, that's a little girl. Tiny little girl. Tiny little girl. Look at that shiny, shiny coat. coat. Man, they all. Let's show. Let's show some other ones here. Okay. Um. But I like this whelping system a lot. This is, this is a boy. Man, look at that boy. Look at that. So he, I think, will be a very light lilac fawn. Like a solid color lilac fawn. So two copies of blue, two copies of chocolate. So we're waking He's, him up here. Yeah, yeah, probably an AYA lilac fawn. So I think he'll keep getting lighter as he ages. And the cool thing is all eight of these puppies, because they're lilacs, they're all going to have real bright eyes. Like light blue, like eyes that stay really really stunning yeah who's this one this is a boy another little boy the lilac so this boy to me looks like a like a darker like a solid lilac you know like the it almost looks like a blue but a lighter shade doesn't have the uh the fawn doesn't have the merle just a solid yeah he's they're going <laughs> oh man they're going you can see those two playing See, they're all lined up waiting for you, but real muscular pups. I like this whelping system. I like the way the heat goes around the uh, the bottom. Yeah. Man, they look good, though. Let's show the, the real thick okay. lilac Merle boy. I'm trying to get to it. <laughs> look how they're built. I love them. The, okay, these so have the build that just it just made me fall in Let's love with these one. French this bulldogs. Really made me fall in love with these French Bulldogs. It's a little boy? Yeah, so that's a little boy. I also think, to me, he looks like a solid lilac. Solid lilac. Solid lilac, but a very I light a shade. Sorry, yeah, no, no, you're good, shade. you're good. He's a tiny little boy. They're so right. tiny. Yes, so this boy is definitely a full-suited, you know, yeah, flashy, at, light, he merle. It's a light merle. He's a monster, yeah. He's different, boy. He is a real man. When he's with those bright blue eyes and that... Light coat. He's so shiny light. He almost I looks like if you would picture a platinum with merle spots, that's what he looks like. Yeah. Just crazy all on his head. <laughs> He's a monster too. Extra hey, thick. This is a boy. So this is a little boy. He's a lilac fawn. I could see it in the head yeah. and the real light coat. So he'll be a lilac fawn for sure. Nice little head on him. He's crazy. Yeah. He's chilling out. Now, this is the boy where I this think he's a lilac merle. He's the one that has some little merle spots coming yeah. in on his body. I think he's, so, I think he, he, he could even be a lilac fawn merle like Diego, but he's got little spots, like little thumbprints starting to come in. Crazy headpiece on him. Yeah. Man, that's a gorgeous, that is a gorgeous dog right there. Yeah, he's some high-end little Frenchies. I love it. 
And this compact with big heads is a female so this is the little lilac fawn female i think lilac she'll be fawn. a very light shade lilac fawn Since you can see the tinge on their head yeah she's very small too very small little female so there they are guys there's the diego and uh paloma pups quality akc french bulldogs just like we want to produce awesome so now we're gonna switch gears and go over and show you the exotic bully puppies all right, YouTube, here we are. The Diego Times Papita puppies have made a week old, so I wanted to give you guys an update. You guys can tell they've been eating. They look so thick at a week old. My sister, Lindsay, and my brother-in-law, Bubba, have Yo. been killing it. Bubba's also the flight nanny, so if anyone needs a pup transported, what's your number, Bubba? 904-859-2736. And I will take care of your puppy for you. Yeah, he's awesome, man. He whelps litters, he flight nannies. He's got some uh, fire dogs, and uh, he's got a Knuckles daughter, a little French bulldog daughter. But let's get into these uh, Pepita pups, a week old. I'm going to stand behind the light lens. You could just show them off one at a time. Crazy piebald puppy. So a lot of them, that's a little boy. See how they have like black around their eyes and then like that light fawn? But you guys know it. This Pepita collection, no muzzles, short backs, thick bone, solid muscle. I mean... We had to go out with a bang on our last exotic bully litter. I love it. I see some real consistency. So you could just show them off. Let us know if it's a boy or a girl too. Okay. So it's kind of crazy because the there's the other boy. Yeah, that boy is a monster. He's going to Tennessee. Look at that wide face, flat little wide face. I love <laughs> it. You can see the muscle on him. Little tanks, man. Diego's a cold producer, cold producer. So like in the French bulldog world, They've been around a lot longer. They're a lot more consistent. You breed a good-looking Frenchie to a good-looking Frenchie, you're going to get pups that all look like the parents, you know, size, structure, color. You can easily produce a look like what the parents have. But the bullies are different. These exotic bullies, American bullies, bullies are known for being very inconsistent. So to me, when you have a female bully and you want to go for consistency, a lot of people try to say, you know, breed to another stud that, you know has strengths where mine has weaknesses or two studs that two you know my female and this stud i think looks cool i like his look breed to that but for consistency in the bully world i always found like look at the mom and look at the mom's dad and the mom's mom and off one of those two you got to take that female and line breed her to blood that's either related to her dad or to her mom and not inbreed but line breed to like a half sister a brother a cousin a grandparent and that line breeding can give you consistency or when you have a female as freaky as Pepita crossbreed to a French bulldog for that real exotic look, which is what we did here. This girl, this is this is the girl going to James. Look how compact this girl is. Look at that. Look at that. That's a freak. These are freaks. I mean, these hit, these hit hard. And you know, I'm not gonna lie, Pepita's top shelf. Diego has a ton of bone thickness and an extra short back for a French bulldog stud. So I'm not saying every exotic bully to Frenchie's gonna hit like this. But man, this is an awesome litter to finish out on. Look at that face. That's the girl. I believe she's going out to Cali. He knew, he knew he's getting something special. Look at that. He's got the wow factor. I love him. I love him. So man, look at them. They look awesome. They look super cool. Check it out. Check it out. Look at that head. I love it. I love it. <laughs> look at that one. This climbing under Pepita. They all have that muscle build Pepita has. I love it. So, man, this litter, this litter killed it. Only a week old is crazy. So, this, this is... It's a girl. Man, look at that girl. I think that's a girl going up to Eugene in Michigan, if I'm correct. But uh, he's going to love her. He wanted something real exotic. That's what he's getting. <laughs> this can see. Yeah, look at it. They all look the same. Her fawn is a really light, light shade, too. Yeah, she looks good. Oh, man. She looks real good. Look at that. So it's crazy, guys, because you guys saw we have the Diego and Paloma AKC French Bulldog Pups. We have these Diego times Pepita ABR Exotic Bully Pups. And then we have Bunny with a French Bulldog litter due on Saturday. So kind of a rare time where we've got uh, three litters. So it's been crazy over here. Have we shown them all? No, nah, there's one more. Okay, good. You're doing good, Linz. You're doing real good. This is a boy. Yeah, this is the boy going to Texas. This is the boy. I swear he's Merle in the fawn. 
He reminds me yeah. a lot of Poblano, the way his head shape and the way his body shaped. But I'm pretty sure he's a piebald fawn Merle. And uh, he's going to Texas, that dude. Look at the short little back. I mean, he is so cool. Man, they don't come any cooler than that. That boy is bad to the bone. Check him out. Look at that little body. Crazy. So then, so there's the Diego Times Pepita at a week old. Looking fire. We really appreciate you guys. Uh, this litter is completely sold out. So it looks like we've sold our last bully puppy, guys. Now on to our French Bulldog journey. And uh, we really appreciate you guys for rocking with us. Look at these fire little pups. Lindsay, you want to show your knuckles, daughter? Okay. You got to bring her in. Okay. Just carry her in. Okay. So Linz has a, uh, you guys know we've been really been building up our uh, our Frenchies. So I want to show you guys this knuckles daughter, Lindsay and Bubba half. Uh, you guys are going to love this girl. You really are. One sec. All right, check it out, guys. This is the knuckles daughter, Callie. Look at that headpiece. She's a lilac and tan. So you can see how the lilac is like a blue, but a lighter shade blue. And then she has the tan points like Winston. I think we're going to breed her up. Who are we going to take her to? Diego or Winston? That's yeah. tough. Go for the lilac and lilac merles or go for the blue and tans. But this is the little Knuckles daughter, Callie. Uh, she's a puppy here that we're raising up to breed to uh, one of our studs. And she's living here with Lindsay and Bubba. Look at that little face on a female. Big head. That's what I love. See, I love that smash face with the split rope, the clean bite. Nice top skull and eye separation, cute little ears, muscular, awesome little pup. So, you know, these Frenchies fill out too as they age, but she's awesome. Yeah. So, there's little uh, Callie. You guys will see more of her. I need to get a video of Callie, Fiji, Blueberry, and oh, Honey, yeah. all those young females all playing. So, we'll get that soon. But we really, we really appreciate you guys for watching, for tuning in. Stay with us. We're going to keep the updates coming. You can see Bubba getting to work there. He does not mess around, man. He is awesome. <laughs> So we appreciate you guys and we'll catch you on the next one.